Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So, uh, today's story is absolutely insane. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. So please, leave a like on this video, because it's definitely one of my craziest story times. I hope you like it. Let's jump into this. So today's story time is about the time that my teacher, one of my 10th grade teachers to be specific, planted something illegal in my locker to try and get me expelled. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Let's do this. So today's story time all starts off as a normal day in 10th grade. I woke up, got up out of bed, took a shower, got ready, and I went to school. Now on this day, I was actually pretty excited because I had study hall. It was my sixth period, and I like study hall for many reasons. One, I didn't really have to do much that period. I got to chill, just kind of, you know, listen to music, and I could snack on something if I wanted to. I could work on stuff. It was just a nice free period to just have a break. And uh, I got to study hall on this day, very excited, like I said, to be there and just chill. And I realized something. We had a new teacher for study hall. Like, I usually had this really nice lady the whole year, but now we had someone new. And he looked like a cranky-ass old man. I don't usually judge books by their covers, but, like, he really did look so angry for no reason. So I walked into the study hall and I was like, oh, shit. Like, I just thought to myself, great, this guy's gonna be an absolute pleasure to deal with. And my assumptions were correct. Literally, the minute I walked in... He looks up at me and he goes, you're late. Keep in mind, I was not late. The bell had not rang yet, which I said. I was like, uh, sir? No, I'm not. He's like, uh, sir? Yeah, you are. I was like, uh, the bell hasn't rang. And then right when I said that, the bell rang. And I was like, you hear that? That's the second bell. That means I'm here on time in the classroom. He goes, sit down. I don't need your attitude. So I go to sit down in my normal spot, as I usually do. And he goes, no, you're not there. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, no, we're switching the seats up. I've reassigned you to right here in front of me. And he points to a seat that's literally right in front of the chalkboard, like right by his desk. Now keep in mind, nobody else was in new seats. He was just being an asshole to me and giving me a hard time because he didn't like that he was wrong and I wasn't late. So I called him on his bullshit. I was like, okay, I don't believe you. Why is nobody else in new seats? Only me. He goes, do you want to argue with me? You want detention? I was like, are you serious, man? He's like, yeah, I'm serious, man. Get up here and sit down. So I go up there. I sit down. I'm in a very pissy mood at this point because this teacher is being a fucking dickhead to me. But I was like, whatever. Fair enough. Like, hopefully this guy's just temporary. Hopefully he's just filling in for my actual teacher. Whatever. So I get up there. I sit down. I start working on some stuff. And like 20 minutes in the class, he walks up to me and he goes, hey, come up to my desk for a second. I want to talk to you. I was like, okay. So I walk up there and he goes, listen, man. I'm going to be here for a while, okay? Your teacher fell and got hurt. She's going to be out for at least a month or two. So I'm going to be here for a while. Please, let's make this easy. You don't give me a hard time, and I won't give you a hard time. And I was like, sir, I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I just, I wasn't late, and I didn't want to be called late and, you know, be in trouble for something I didn't do. And he goes, are you really going to argue with me about that again? I was like, no, I'm not trying to argue. I'm just letting you know why I said what I said. Like, I just wasn't late. He's like, okay, well, I'm saying it one last time. Don't give me a hard time, and I won't give you a hard time. Capiche? Now, I haven't heard the word capiche in, like, fucking 10 years, but I'm like, yeah, dude. Like, whatever. Yeah, sure. And he goes, I'm serious, because I will make your life in this class a living hell. Now, after he said this, all I wanted to do was just tell him to go fuck himself and walk out. But if I did that, then my principal would see me in the wrong, and I would probably get, like, a week of detention or, like, in-school suspension or something. So I couldn't. So I was like, okay understood. And he goes, great. Now go sit down. And please, I don't want to hear another word out of you for the rest of class. So I go and sit down. Very angry at this point. I just feel so like defeated. I feel like I can't even stick up for myself because this teacher is so power stricken. But I was like, you know what, whatever, like, it's just a bad day. No big deal. Tomorrow will be better. That was my mindset, right? The main reason I was thinking like that is because the next day I didn't even have study hall. So I was looking forward to not seeing this guy the next day. So anyway, yeah, fast forward after this day. Nothing happened for a while. About two weeks went by, and, like, the guy was still kind of a dickhead to me. You know, he wouldn't let me listen to music. He was always keeping an eye on me. He still kept me up at the front. But, you know, for the most part, I was just ignoring him, and he was ignoring me. So that was fine with me. But then, sadly, everything had to get real fucked up real quick. So on the second week of having this new teacher, I walked into study hall like any normal day, and I wasn't late. I sit down. I start reading a book because I'm bored. I had no homework due, no homework was assigned this day yet, so I really had nothing to do but read or go on my phone, and he wouldn't let me on my phone, so I started reading this book, just for fun, for my own entertainment, and he comes up to me and just starts picking a fight. He's like, Austin, pull some work out, this is study hall, not read hall. 
I was like, I'm sorry, I don't have any homework. Like, I wasn't assigned any today. Like, I have nothing. He goes, sure you don't. Let's see what's in your backpack. And he opens my backpack without asking me and starts going through my shit. And he goes, what's this? Looks like homework to me. And he puts this random piece of paper on my desk that was from a previous class. It was classwork, not homework. So I told him that. I was like, sir, that's classwork, not homework. I'm not supposed to do it outside of class. He goes, I don't believe you. And then one of my friends raises their hands, who's in that class with me, and goes, sir, I can see his paper from here. That's classwork. And he goes, was I talking to you? And he points at my friend. And my friend goes, no, I'm just letting you know, like, Austin probably is telling the truth. He doesn't have homework. And he goes, leave now. And he kicks my friend out of the class, just sends him up to the main office, and then immediately gets on my case again and says that I need to pull out some real work and stop reading this book. So I tell him, I'm like, listen, I don't have homework. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. I can't believe you're getting mad at me right now for reading a book. Like reading a book is still an academic activity. Like I'm stimulating my brain by reading. And he goes, Austin, what did we talk about a couple weeks ago? You really want to challenge me on this? Like I said, we could go two ways on this. You could either have an easy year or I can make your year here not fun at all. And everyone in the whole class hears him say this. So I just respond and I go, I don't know what to tell you. I have no homework. Like give me detention if you want. I'm reading a book and I start reading again. He proceeds to grab the book out of my hand and throw it across the room. He also almost hits a girl in the head during that. And I look at him and I'm like, dude, what the fuck is your problem? And he goes, oh, you want to swear at me? Okay, go to the main office. So I'm like, okay. And I stand up, grab my stuff and I leave. Just happy to be out of that classroom, right? And I think that's the end of it, right? I think I'm going to go upstairs, talk to the principal a little bit, probably get detention for a couple days for swearing at my teacher, explain what happened. And you know, that'd be the end of it, right? Oh, I was so mistaken. So I get up to the main office and I'm waiting in the little waiting area for my principal to call me in. And about 15 minutes later, my principal calls me in and I walk in and the principal's sitting there and the school cop is sitting there and they're both looking at me very disappointed. And I'm like, hi, like what's going on? And my principal's like, Austin, I think you know why you're here. I was like, yeah, I could tell you why right now. That teacher, that new study hall teacher is horrible. Like he is a complete abuse of power teacher. Like, I've never seen anyone like this. And my principal's like, Austin, your teacher told me that you had drugs in your backpack. We had the police search your locker and we found this. And the police holds up like an eighth of weed in a bag. Not my weed, keep in mind. I wasn't even smoking at this time. So I'm like dumbfounded. I'm like, wait, 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 what? That's what, wait, what are you talking about? And she's like, he told me you had weed in your backpack. So we conducted a search of your locker. We found even more. We'd also like to search your backpack, please. So they do. They search my backpack. There's nothing in it because I had no weed on me. And I was like, I'm like shocked. Like somebody planted something in my locker. I'm telling you right now. And the school cop proceeds to laugh at me. And I'm like, no, I'm serious. Like I don't have anything in my locker. Like how did you find that? Someone put that there. And he goes, I'll tell you how I found it. We searched your locker. It was right in the top little compartment sitting there for us to see in plain sight. It was reeking up the whole locker anyway. Like you didn't do a good job at hiding it. I was like, no, somebody planted it. I'm telling you. And they didn't believe me. No one did. I got suspended for two days out of school and two days in school suspension. And I got a warning saying if it happened again, they'd move me to a different school and essentially expel me from my main one. So at this point, I'm fucking pissed because someone is fucking with me. So when we got home after I got suspended, I sat down with my mom at dinner. And I was like, mom, I'm serious. Like, I wouldn't bullshit you on this. Somebody put that in my locker. Please call the school tomorrow and beg them to check the cameras or something like this isn't right. And she's like, fine, I don't believe you, but fine, I'll do it for you. So the next day, my mom called the principal and she was like, look, my son swears up and down. Someone put something in his locker that wasn't him. Please, just for me and his peace of mind, check the cameras for yesterday. See if anybody messed with his locker and let me know what you find. And the principal's like, okay, we'll look into it. And the next day, we get a call from the school asking us to come in immediately. And I'm like, Hmm, I wonder what they found. Probably whoever fucking planted weed in my locker because it wasn't me. Like, I was confident. I knew that I didn't do this shit. So me and my mom go to school. We sit down. The school cop's there. My principal's there. And I'm just waiting to hear what they have to say, right? And my mom goes, why are we here? Like, why do you call us in? I thought my son was still suspended. And the principal goes, well, we owe your son, first of all, an apology. Because he was right. The marijuana we found was put into his locker by somebody else. Somebody that works at the school. And when she said that, I immediately knew. I was like, oh, I just can't wait to hear this. 
And my principal goes, it was his study hall teacher. We checked the cameras as well as consulted with other students. After he sent Austin to the office yesterday, he immediately said he'd be right back, went up to his desk, grabbed something out of one of the drawers, walked out of the hallway, went to Austin's locker. He proceeded to force his way into Austin's locker by hitting it with his knee a couple times, forced it open, and planted that marijuana in there on the top shelf. And she then proceeded to show us the footage of him doing it. And my mom is like, holy shit, he's getting fired, right? And my principal looks at me, looks at my mom, and goes, he was let go immediately, as well as arrested for having drugs on school property and doing what he did to your son. We're also going to be looking into every other encounter he's had with students at the school before to see if he's done this in the past. So yeah, essentially, this dude uh, got something out of his desk. That's what the students told the principal. And then when he went out in the hallway, they saw it on the cameras. He went up to my locker, kicked that shit open because my locker is weak, as well as all the other lockers at the school, and planted shit in my locker. After he did that, he then called the main office as I was going up there and waiting in the waiting room and said, hey, I just sent Austin up to you. I saw weed in his backpack. Search him immediately. My mom also freaked out on the principal for the fact that their lockers were so weak and able to be kneed open like that with force and told the principal to fix my locker immediately because she doesn't want my things getting stolen, like my personal belongings. She also suggested that they fix everybody's lockers and that they use some of that budget they're getting every year to, you know, make the school a better place. But anyway, yeah, dude, this dude lost his fucking job and went to jail. Now, it wasn't for very long. He got bailed out literally the same or next day, according to my mom. I think she told me the next day he got out. Um, he had to pay some fines because he broke laws and uh, couldn't teach anymore. But needless to say, I fucking won in the end. Rightfully so. I have no problem with teachers, and I actually think teachers are pretty underpaid and get shit on a lot for no reason. But this dude has to be... Like, number one shittiest teacher I've ever had in my life. But yeah, needless to say, my school, my principal, immediately revoked the suspension, apologized to me. They actually gave me free school lunch for two weeks for this, which I don't think is a very fair trade because school lunch, you know, kind of tastes like rat poison. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's cool they did that for me. I got free school lunch for like two weeks. I also got candy from them. Like, my principal bought me like a huge thing of like chocolate. So that was cool. Um, yeah, fair trade, I guess. But the really, the best part about this, like the best thing about this, the best justice I could have received was the fact that that teacher couldn't teach at my school or any school anymore because he was a corrupt ass motherfucker who uh, literally tried to get me expelled. Moral of the story is don't be like that teacher. Don't be a corrupt dickhead and uh, just treat people with respect. It's that simple. But yeah, guys, I thought the story time was crazy. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. I really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all later. Peace. Won't try suicide. I just went and moved to LA. My soul sacrificed. You just betrayed me and